Hi guys, it's Sophie. So today I'm going to be doing a, a weekend read, sort of currently reading type video. Um, I did a poll on Twitter and um, this sort of tied with what Sophie doing very little. Um, I'm doing a lot this weekend, so I can't film that one unfortunately, um, but maybe later on in the month if I do have a time where I'm not doing so much. Um, whilst I'm on that topic, um, unfortunately I'm going to be so busy this weekend I'm not going to be able to film a video for Wednesday, um, so there'll be nothing for me on Wednesday this week, but there will be something next weekend. Um, as I say, it's just going to be a really busy weekend, so yeah. Um, let's jump into what I'm reading at the moment and a little bit about what I think I'm going to read sort of over the next week or so, um, because kind of with the currently reading I thought I'd give you an idea of what my plans are. So the non-fiction book I'm currently reading is A First Rate Madness by Nasir Gahami. Um, I'm quite enjoying this one. It's um, essentially about how, or the kind of the hypothesis, that people who have suffered mood disorders are more likely to be able to um, deal well in a crisis because they are quite used to dealing with um, sort of high intensity situations. Um, and it's kind of going through case studies of different leaders and then comparing them with their um, sort of neurotypical contemporaries and um, seeing how both of them fare. I've only really just started it, I'm on page 36 at the moment and it's probably 300 odd pages long, yeah it's 340 pages long. Um, I am finding that because quite a lot of this is like military tactics for the first person who's Sherman, um, it's a bit of a hard read because I don't really like reading about that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of mixing it up with other stuff. Um, I am listening to 4321 which is behind me on audiobook uh, as I'm just going like to and from work and doing household tasks um, and I'm probably like a third of the way through now, is that a peak? Yeah I'd say that's more than a third, can you see? Yeah, like creeping up on halfway, it's probably like 40% um, and that's been much better for me to read that book than um, physically. Uh, I don't really know why, I just think I've been a bit intimidated by it, whereas the audiobook just seems to be flying by, so there's that one. And then going on to what I think I'm going to be reading this weekend and next week. Um, there is actually one fiction that I know I'm going to have to break up non-fiction November with, um, which is The Good People by Hannah Kent. Um, so this one is um, the pick for my In Real Life book club. Um, and I'm a little bit tentative about this one because I've heard quite mixed things and I've heard quite mixed things from people who enjoyed Burial Rites and I didn't love Burial Rites, I didn't quite like it but I didn't um, think it was as amazing as everyone else seemed to think it was I had some problems with it, not that I can remember really exactly what they were now um, but I do remember having some issues with it and I read it for Dewey's um, either last year or the year before so yeah this one is um, a little bit different, it's about um, I think um, sort of children who might be magic in Ireland, she says, um, but it might sort of be that they're, I don't know, um, maybe just different and are being kind of abused and thrown out, but we'll see. Um, so I'm definitely going to be starting this one soon, I'm probably going to start this one this weekend, because um, I think we're discussing on the 21st this week, and it is the 11th today, so yeah, I just want to make sure I've definitely managed to get my way through it before we get there. And then the other two non-fictions I have that I might be starting, well, probably be starting next week at some point. I don't know whether I might read um, one of these alongside the fiction and First Rate Madness or whether I will just read A First Rate Madness and then swap to one of these. Um, but the first one I have is Ethics in the Real World by Peter Singer. This is the one I may read along um, because it's 82 tiny little essays, like one or two page essays on um, sort of big ethical questions in the world today. Um, and I think this could be quite a good one to dip in and out of, so I thought maybe if I'm finding um, a first rate madness a bit heavy in terms of the military side, then I can pick up and read a couple of short ethics essays and then dive straight back in again. Um, so we will see. I, I think this one's going to be really good, I'm really looking forward to it. And then the last one I have that I may get to um, this next week, it depends on how fast I read everything that I've got, because I think I'm probably going to read Ethics in the Real World first. Um, but I have a new book that I haven't hauled yet, which is I Can't Breathe by Matt Harvey, and this is about Eric Gardner's murder, um, which, for those of you who don't know, it, it was a man who was held on, I can't remember what they said the charge was. Yeah, for selling cigarettes, so like a really low charge. Um, and they held him in a chokehold and uh, they choked him to death one whilst he kept saying I can't breathe. Um, really sad, uh, but it's it's kind of the case that kind of kick-started the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, and I sort of obviously heard some of some of that in the press and just in reading stuff on my own, um, but I've not really heard the whole story. Um, and I've read uh, something where this author before that was on Trump and I found it really easy to read and really... Um, 
I guess like a really easy intro to, sub to the subject so um, yeah I'm hoping for a similar kind of lightness to begin with although obviously it's a very heavy subject topic um, yeah I, I think he seems to bring kind of simplicity to stuff so we'll see um, I've heard since buying this one some lots of nice stuff about this author so um, yeah I mean I'm still gonna read it but maybe I won't pick up more of his stuff in future let me know if you guys have heard anything positive or negative about the author um, if I hear sort of really negative stuff about someone I tend to just say um, I won't buy in future um, but because I've already bought this one I will I will have a go and have a read and have a see what I think um, so yeah, those are the few books that I am currently reading and the ones I'm kind of getting to in the next week or so, um, just kind of in general, so we've got, I'll hold them up, we've got these ones here which are the four that I'm currently reading and hoping to get to, um, and then I have on my shelf behind me only a few left, so I don't know if you can see but we've got 4321 which I've shown you and I'm like, let's say 40% of the way through, um, I have American War, very pretty book, um, I haven't started yet, The Clay Girl and A Jest of God and that is um, my full TBR including those ones I've just shown you. Um, so yeah I think probably before I've got there I will be in the next week, week and a half I would have thought um, and then I'm going to be moving on to fiction, I'm not going to be buying anything else, um, at least that's my plan at the moment um, and I'm just going to read through everything I have and then I'll decide whether or not I want to to sort of buy anything at all for the rest of the year or whether I'm just going to be um, potentially rereading or uh, doing other things because as I mentioned in my round the world conversation I want to give myself a break from reading um, between 2017's end and my reading around the world in 2018 um, so we'll see because I think realistically I've only got eight books left now I may actually finish those in November, early December, but we'll see, we'll see how I go. Hopefully that's been nice to hear a little bit about what I've been reading at the moment. Um, please leave in the comments down below what you're reading at the moment, especially if you're doing non-fiction November, what's been your favourite non-fiction read so far this month, um, anything you're really excited for. Yeah, I'll chat to you guys in the comments and talk to you again next weekend. Bye!